Good morning, 2-3. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. The weather was so beautiful, so I hope that cheered you guys up dealing with the nice warm weather and sun for a change um, to get us ready for this new week ahead. Uh, speaking of this new week ahead, we are having a project week. So we had two full weeks of nonstop. So now we are going to have a project week, which is going to be pretty much the same as our old project week, where every day you will be assigned a project by subject. Um, you will also have a study island assignment for the week that I'm going to do another video on for you to explain more. And this is pretty much a project week and a catch up week because we have progress reports coming out next week. And what I want you to do is make sure that you have no missing work. Everything is done and I need you to catch up this week just in case so that way your grades for progress reports are really good. OK, so it's project week, which is fun week, and it's also a catch up week for those that are missing any assignments to get yourselves caught up by the end of the week. So today is reading project Monday. So your project today is obviously reading. I'm going to talk about what we're doing. So you're going to watch this video and it's important that you do because it's going to talk you through all the steps for your reading project. So because we are still talking about with our Judy Moody book, we are still focusing on this rainforest and she had to do a project on an endangered animal from the rainforest, you are now going to be doing a project on a rainforest animal, okay? So what I want you to do is when you open up your Google Slides, it's going to take you here, okay? And it says rainforest animal project. Today you are going to research an animal of your choice from the rainforest. Click this website. So this is the main website that you're going to use for your research. I chose a website that pretty much has everything there for you to fill out for your research. OK, with that being said, if you still want to research other websites, if you're really good at researching and you want to go on to Google and you want to find out more information and have fun, you are allowed to do that. I put that for number four. You are allowed to visit other websites for your research if you need to or if you want to. OK, you have that option. But a lot of what you're going to take is going to come from this website. So when you click it open, you are then going to choose, and I'm going to show you it in a second, one animal from the website. So you're going to choose one animal to do your project on, okay? And it's going to be on this website. And then we're going to go through what you have to do. So when you do click open that website, it's going to take you to this website. And you're going to scroll down. And these are all the rainforest animals. There's mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians, okay? So you're going to choose one. You're going to either choose one of these, one of these, one of these, or one of these. Okay, just one out of everything. You're only allowed to choose one. So you're going to, you could click on them and see. So all you would do is once you chose one. So for example, let's say I chose the golden poison dart frog. I click on it and it's automatically going to open up to this page. Okay. And it gives me a picture of it, and then it talks about where it's located, the diet, which means what it eats, habitat, its home, its size, okay, everything. So again, a lot of this you could use for your project, and if you needed to search more in a Google, you would just put what you're looking for and put the name of it, okay? So this is where you are going to basically, like I said, do your use most of your research and choose. So you're choosing from... You are choosing from these animals and reptiles and birds and everything here. So you're going to choose one, okay? Once you chose one that you want, you're going to come back to your Google Slides, and here you're going to type the name of the animal that you chose. That's the first thing you have to do for your project is type the name. So you're, right here, you're just going to delete like what I wrote, like always, and then you're going to type right in the middle only the name of your animal. And then here you have to insert a picture and I'm going to show you. Now, if you're having trouble putting a picture in, you can then just draw me a picture and send it to me on Class Dojo. You have that option so you don't have to stress. Um, but it is fairly easy. All you would do is come here to insert, go to very top one image, upload. Um, sorry, you're going to go to search the web and a little box is going to come to the side. 
and it already opens up Google for you. So let's say I wanted to put in um, tiger. And I look, it just comes up. And all I would do is click on it, and you'll see how it has a check mark on it. And down here, it'll say insert, and then you would insert. And then all you would have to do is um, play around with the size because the size is going to be a lot larger. So you would just come and you would make it smaller and then you would just put it wherever you want it just like that. Okay, that's how you insert a picture. But again, if it's too much for you and you're confused, you could, of course, ask me tomorrow and I could help you or you could just draw your picture and then you can send it to me on Class Dojo. So once you picked your animal, you are then going to go to the next slide. And this slide is focused on your animal's home and what they look like. So there are four questions that you need to answer about that. So number one says, where does your animal live? Be specific. So I want to know where does your animal live? I want a specific place that your animal lives. Again, you could get that on the website that you're going to, or you could look it up, but you need to be specific. I don't want to hear my animal lives in the woods. That is not specific to me. You need to tell me exactly where your animal lives, okay? So you need to make sure that you're restating for your project, okay? So you're going to say your animal's name. So if, for example, I'm doing it on the snake, the boa constrictor, I'm going to say the boa constrictor lives in, okay? So be careful of that. You have to restate. You're not just telling me an answer. You're restating. Number two is what is the size of your animal? So you need to tell me the size, how big, small, okay, your animal is. Number three, what does your animal look like? I want three details what your animal looks like, okay? So be specific. Look at a picture, and you're going to see the picture once you choose your animal, and then you're going to tell me three specific details of what your animal looks like. Again, restating. Okay, the tiger looks like or the tiger has and tell me three different things. Okay, and number four, does your animal live alone or in groups? Okay, so do, is it known to live by itself or does it is it known to travel in groups? And you're going to type that as well. Okay, again, I can't stress it enough restating. If you're not restating, you will not get full credit for your answers. You should know by now, and it's a huge thing in third grade, and it was a huge thing in second grade. Restating is very important when you're answering questions. Down here where it says additional notes, all you have to do is you are going to, this is only for um, if you need anything like extra that you want to put for yourself. So if you thought something was really cool and you want to tell me, that's something you could type here. This does not have to get filled out. This is just extra space. But these four have to get filled in, okay? Then you're going to come to the next slide. And on this one, we're focusing on your animal's food, okay, which means diet. Their food and their diet, what they eat. So the first question is, what does your animal eat for food? So I want here, okay, again, the tiger eats blank for food. So again, restating is important. Restate, restate, restate. And then again, you're telling me what your animal eats for food. Remember, you're not guessing. These are things coming from the internet, especially that website that I gave you. You're not making the answers up. You're researching. Okay. Number two, does your animal need to hunt for food? So does your animal need to hunt for their food? And number three, on a scale of one to 10, how dangerous is your animal? Why do you think this? So Daddy. your animal, do you think that it is, one means like not dangerous at all to all the way, 10 is extremely dangerous. So if you were going to rate your animal, I wanna know what you would rate it and then how and why you think that. Why do you think, for example, your animal is a 10 on a dangerous scale or why you think your animal is a two, okay? And then you're going to type that here. And here all you have to do is click and it'll automatically start getting ready for you to type where it says click to add text. It's very simple, okay? Again, this is an additional notes. Does not need to be filled out. But again, if you have something you wanna add extra that you found interesting you wanna share, you would put it here. The last slide, excuse me, sorry. The last slide 
is a fun one. So it's called Fun Facts. So you're going to put on this slide, did you know it says. You're going to tell me three really fun or cool facts about your animal, okay, that you didn't know, I, you, I probably don't know, okay? You could research this again using the website I gave you or do a Google search. And if you put fun facts about the whatever your animal is, I'm sure a lot of things are going to come up and you just type three of them here, okay? So this is the fun facts page. This is the last page of your research project. So again, you need, you need, you need to restate, restate, restate. Okay, two, three, please show me that we've gotten that this year. Restate. Then again, make sure that you are using this website that I gave you from the beginning. This is where you are choosing your animal from. A lot of your answers can be found here. And again, if you need to, you go to Google and you do a search, especially for the fun facts. It's easy to do a Google search, fun facts about blank, and everything would come up, okay? So this is your project for today, your reading project. Again, make sure if you have any other free time today, which you should, that you are catching up on any other work for this week. Because remember we said this is a fun project week, so catch up on any other work that you need to. And I also, like I said, will be posting a video about a study island assignment for this week. If you need me, you need help, you have questions, please let me know I'm here. Have fun, and I can't wait to learn all about your rainforest animals.